Thanks, Mark. Hello. Yes, I'm Daniel Devine. I'm the Integrated Control Panel Specialist for Siemens. Thank you for your time today. I'm going to try and steal 10 minutes of your time before we look at the great products with my colleagues. I just wanted some time to introduce our Integrated Control Panel initiative called ICP. Okay, so what is ICP? Well, what we're offering essentially is a free consultancy service where we're trying to help you, the panel builder, or any of our customers, optimize the design of your control panel. So how are we doing it? Well, we've got literature, we've got tools, we've got consultancy. We're looking at subjects such as IEC, UL, EMC, panel heat loss, short circuit calculations, and all of this, we've got tools, or as I say, we've got the consultancy, and we've got the support here for you, okay? So today, I'm gonna to look at one of, our, one of our tools, one of our free tools with you, the control panel design tool, and we're gonna see how that impacts on a design. And um, we've got a customer inquiry, and I'm gonna run through it with you, okay? One of the other big topics we're dealing with at the minute that I'd like to introduce also is the North American market, okay? A lot of panel builders in the UK and Ireland, they're, th th this is one of the biggest challenges they've got in complying with these standards. But we here at Siemens and myself and my colleagues in Germany, we're not just answering your questions, we're actually helping customers with their UL control panel designs. So I'm here and my contact details will be at the end. I'd be happy to hear from anyone if there's any questions. Okay, before I introduce our control panel design tool, I just want to give you an example of, of an inquiry that we looked at recently. So a customer sent me an inquiry. They wanted some direct online starters, a star delta starter, all with SIMA code. And we had six different motors, okay? So normally for me, I go to my trusty IC10, okay? We go to chapter three for the contactors, chapter seven for the circuit breakers, and chapter 10 for the SIMA code. I've got to think about accessories, I can't miss anything out. That could probably take me upwards of an hour, okay? And I've been doing this a while now, so it could take someone, a lot, someone else a lot longer. But for the panel builder, not just that, after that, the panel builder's got to think of the cable dimensioning. They've got to think of the short circuit calculations. The tool we're going to look at today, it does all that for you. In this particular example I'm going to look at, I've done all, the, all this in around 15 minutes. So you can see the massive time saving here that this one tool can do. As I say, we have other tools, and this is just a snapshot. If you want to know more about our integrated control panel initiative, please do get in touch. Okay, so let's go and have a look at the tool. Okay, so here we are in the TIA selection tool offline version, and we're looking at the CPD control panel design tool. So here you can see my customer's line diagram all completed in just over 10 minutes and that was going slow um, so what can we see okay so here we've got two motors fan one and fan two they're DOL okay we've got two 11 kilowatt motors here again DOL but this time on Simicode and last but not least we've got a 22 kilowatt motor on a star delta with Simicode the customers also asked to add a single pole neutral resistive load 20 amp so what can we get from this so first and foremost you can see the part numbers okay great we've got our breaker our contactor we've got our sim code we've got our star delta sim code amazing okay but not just that okay for each of these the accessories as well will be added so let's look at belt 2 for example here if we go into accessories what is it added it's added the link module. If you want a hard wire, you can bin that. If not, continue with it. And again, if we look at belt three, what accessories have we got for our star delta? We've got the wiring kit. Great, okay. Let's go back to our main circuit. What else have we got? So we've taken into consideration all of the um, cables, i.e., for example, how many loaded cables are there on the tray? What are the correction factors? The tool does all this for you. So now you can see we've got cable size here on the small motors, two and a half mil. Then we've got four mil here. And we can see on the star delta, which is a bit heavier, we've got the cable sizes done for us. Not that it's just that. Looking here, we've got the IK min, IK max, SCCR in total. And we've also got that for each branch here. We've got the total current. So we can go ahead then, based on this information, and size our feeder protective device, molded case circuit breaker, for example. So all of this, all in a touch of a few buttons, but it's not just that. 
there's a lot more this tool offers as well. We can print this image, send it to a customer. We can print this project. In the project, for example, you'll get all the information regarding the calculation details. Let's have a look at what that looks like. Here you can see the opening page and we can scroll down and see each branch. We've got the calculation details as mentioned and we break each branch down individually. What else can it do? Well, you can export this now to a TIA portal or eCAD, or even better, you can you can export this directly into ePlan. Okay, saving you a lot, a lot of time. Let's look at the order list. Here you can see all the products you need for your setup. What can we do with that? Okay, we can export that as a PDF, an Excel file, send that to your supplier, for example, or Siemens for pricing, or, or other than that, you can, let's look at the export information. We can export this into the Siemens CAX tool. So using this now, we can actually start building a technical file to add on to our existing PDF print we've done. Let's have a look at that. Let's export here. Okay, so here's our parts list. What do we want to do? Well, we're adding to our technical file. So we're going to select all of these products. Continue. What information do we want? Well, hey, I'd like the 3D model for all of these parts. I want a data sheet. I want the operating instructions. Okay. What language do we want them in? Okay, let's go for English. And now all we need to do is give this project a name and then create the download. What will happen, Siemens will compile this information for you in the background or the system will, and you'll get an email, maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes, depending on how many products there are in there. And it will give you a link, click on that link, and that will bring you to your zip file. And all of that information will be contained in it. And you can now create your technical file. What else can we do with this information? Okay, what other tools have we got? Okay, we've now got our parts list. We're creating our technical file. Siemens can also help you add to that technical file. Let's look at the Simaris Therm tool, for example. What can it do? Here we are. So we've imported our products. We've defined the size of our panel. What information can we get now? Okay, here's the temperature in our panel without any in, uh, fans or any any intervention now we've added a fan what have we got our temperature to 27 degrees perfect now what do I want to do well I want to add more compliance certification to my file let's go ahead and generate that so here's the technical file and um, this will tell us who did the calculation when they did it if we scroll down the type of system up against a wall, for example, the size of our panel, the power loss data in terms of kelvins and watts, all of the products that are in there, the fan we're using, the cooling capacity of that fan, and last but not least, the temperature rise characteristic curve showing that our panel is within the temperature we want. Go ahead and add this now to your technical file. I really hope you found this little presentation and this snapshot this morning very helpful. Um, my name is Daniel Devane. As I said, I'm the Integrated Control Panel Specialist and I'm more than happy to demonstrate these tools and work through this with you. As I said, my service is free uh, and all of these tools are free. So get in touch. And before further ado, I'm now going to transfer you across to my colleague Darren and he's going to look at some power distribution Siemens panels with you. Okay, thank you for your time.